I will never forget the day one of my closest friends said to me that she was gay. Now, what surprised me most about that day was the reactions of the people around me, because I saw faces of horror, disgust, and anger. But let's stop and think about what she said for a moment. All she said was that she liked girls. Why is there any difference from her saying that she likes guys, or she likes the cinema, or as generic as it sounds, she likes long walks on the beach? I don't expect every single one of you to grab the first rainbow you see and start parading down the streets yelling pride, but I do hope I can tell you a bit more about this community. Now, raise your hands if you've ever heard of the Stonewall Riots. Yeah, so Greenwich Village, 1969, New York City, the Stonewall Inn, which was a gay bar, was raided by the police. And it wasn't the first time that a gay bar had been raided. It wasn't even the first time Stonewall had been raided. But it was the first time that the people in the bar fought back against the police. And not just against the ones who'd come on that day. They fought back against every single person who'd ever ostracized them from society. Every year, hundreds of people die due to homophobic violence. Every year, hundreds of children like myself are kicked out of their homes because they didn't realize that unconditional love didn't apply to that one condition. In 72 countries, homosexuality is criminalized and in eight, it's punishable by death. LGBT children are three times as likely to commit suicide than their straight brothers and sisters, and five times as likely if they come from unaccepting backgrounds. I do not believe for a second that homophobia is born out of hate. It's born out of misinformation, misunderstanding, stereotypes. And I stand here today to break those. I stand here today for every single person that couldn't, either because they've died, because they're too scared, or because they're so deep in that closet, Mr. Thomas is waiting for them at the gates of Narnia. <laughs> if you're not gonna remember anything from this speech, please do remember this one thing. It's a chant that's set at pride marches every year. Gay, straight, black, white, same struggle, same fights. Every single person in this room is part of a minority group. It just depends on how you slice the pie. No one deserves to be discriminated against for their race, religion, sex, gender identity, or sexual orientation. Good things do not come to those who wait, they come to those who agitate. So I beg you, I urge you, and I implore all of you, tell your stories, because stories save lives. Gay, straight, black, white, same struggle, same fight.